a question from a non-calculator paper for grade 6 students. My attempt used maths that was clearly too difficult for this level. After a little research, I applied the Singapore method, bar modelling. The video shows both methods. How would you solve the problem? Press pause to try it. Use X to represent the number of books at the start. After selling 418 books, X minus 418 remain. A quarter of those that remain are sold, leaving three quarters of X minus 418. This expression is equal to 18% of what is left, or 0.18x, and gives the equation shown. Simplify by dividing by 3 and multiplying by 4 to both sides to give x minus 418 equals 0.24x. Collecting the terms with x on the left gives x minus 0.24x equal to 418, and simplifying gives 0.76x equal to 418. Then divide both sides by 0.76 to obtain the fraction shown. No calculators, so multiply top and bottom by 100 to give 41800 over 76. Simplify by dividing top and bottom by 2 twice in succession to obtain 10450 over 19. Since 19 is prime, the fraction cannot be simplified further. Then, using a formal method of long division, giving the number of books as 550. The Singapore method, bar modelling, uses a rectangle to represent the total number of books at the start. Shade the initial 418 books sold. A quarter of the remainder are sold on Monday. Divide this area into quarters. Shade one quarter and label the amount remaining as 18%. Since three quarters is equal to 18%, one quarter must equal 6%. Adding the 6 and 18 and subtracting the result from 100 gives 76% equal to 418 books. Find 100% by dividing by 76 and multiplying by 100, giving the fraction 41800 over 76. Evaluate the fraction using the same method as before, as indicated by the emboldened section on the left. It is now clear to me how grade 6 students could answer this question. What do you think?